I frame the Minneapolis rebellion and the ensuing political crisis as a political grammatic break, right? Um, similar, similarly using that kind of framework of Melamed, uh, of Howard Wannan, um, and others, and using here the language of Nancy Frazier, uh, this is a moment where there's kind of a weakening of the ideological or ideational constraints that would otherwise rule reparations as something that is too far out there, right? Um, too utopian, unfeasible, those sorts of things. Uh, so it's a political chromatic break and this, these ideas, these two ideas are able to emerge in both cities. And so the strategies of both cities uh, just briefly are as follows. They both passed a resolution. They then created working groups, uh, the Truth and Reconciliation Working Group in Minneapolis and the Reparations Legislative Advisory Committee in St. Paul. So these working groups uh, define the boundaries within which or define the powers of the eventual commissions. The eventual commissions are, as we speak, beginning in both cities. Uh, and then the goals of each city's process are for Minneapolis, community healing, and for St. Paul, community reparations.